In recent Instagram posts, Chicago rapper King Yellow called out King Combs, the son of hip-hop ogle, Sean Diddy Combs, for his purported association with gang GDK, Gangster Disciples, Blink. The video, which has since gone viral, features King Yellow expressing his surprise and concern about King Combs' al alleged involvement with the gang. The video opens up with King Yellow addressing the situation head on, stating, So I look on the internet and I see Puff Daddy's son come out saying GDK. Now, King Yellow, y'all, just for a little um, background information, King Yellow is a well-respected rapper from Chicago. And the rapper then dives into the apparent contradictions of King Combs aligning himself with GDK, especially given the very serious legal allegations surrounding his iconic father. He says, it's not a good time when your dad has all these allegations, he continued. Why would you even try to involve yourself in anything GDK, questioned King Yellow. Highlighting his motives for his involvement, King Yella then dropped a bombshell, revealing that he had received a call from King Combs seeking advice on whether he should pursue drill music. In the video, King Yella expressed his disbelief, stating, Bro, why would you want to do drill music? You don't come from the streets or come from none of that. You were born famous. Not from the streets. You come from a rich daddy that's fighting a bunch of sexual allegations and crazy stuff. And you want to come talking about GDK? Don't let them GDs get with you. Do goofy said King Yellow. The video became a quick focal point on social media, generating widespread attention and discussion. Many supported King Yellow's critique, questioning the authenticity of King Combs' connection to street culture. Screaming, GDK from your pop's $12 million mansion is a form of insanity I thought I'd never witness, one person wrote. I'll never understand why privileged kids try to act hood, another said. He better shut up before Diddy catch another body, <laughs> another said referring to the fact that Diddy allegedly blew up Kid Cudi's car for being interested in Cassie. As the story continues to unfold, the alleged GDK affiliation of King Combs remains a hot topic of discussion. King Yella and others are clearly not having it. Whether he was joking or not, let us know your thoughts. Now, let's check out the clip of him doing this apparent GDK sign. And it sounds like he was egged on by a girl, but we'll get into that. Uh, boom. Okay. Baby. GDK. Baby. Pub Daddy son. Baby. Baby. GDK. Baby. Pub Daddy son. Come out with GDK. Bro, it's not a good time while your daddy fighting all these allegations and crazy stuff he got going on with him right now. Why would you even try to involve yourself into a GDK movement or anything? I mean, you was born famous and rich and famous like what is he doing uh king combs and the crazy part is somebody called me and asked me with you on the phone you forgot we was on the phone and you asked me should you do drill music i said bro why would you do drill music you won't even come from the street yo y'all know what it is y'all know what it ain't i don't know why yeah man that is uh that's a good point man i can agree to what uh king yella is saying even though i don't come from gang culture if my dad's a billionaire, if my dad was experienced the success that P. Diddy did, there's probably no reason, I mean, not probably, but for sure, no way that um, I will be disrespecting a whole population of people. I mean, when you're grown in it, when you're born in it, when you're thrown in that fire at a very young age, now that's debatable, right? I have empathy for you. But when you have been pampered your whole life, when, you know, you have like what we as all children wanted, you know, like the big house, the nice cars, the getting dropped off and the nice cars at school, getting all the new clothes, like you got all of that stuff. And granted, man, that's that's what any parent will want to do for their child. Right. Like work hard and, and give them the life that they couldn't have. So to have you come back down and i mean it's a way of connecting with the people right because gang culture and gang struggle is something that's um a lot of people can identify right at the bottom but there's different ways to connect bro you screaming gd blank that's like you just gave yourself a whole set of new enemies right you just gave yourself a whole set of new enemies. You don't know their faces, but they know yours. And logically, it just doesn't make no sense as to why to bring on this type of 
um, energy towards yourself. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of bodies and, and deaths have happened between these GDs and the BDs. And when you've grown and when you grew up in a mansion and when you've had nannies and chefs and whatnot, it makes no logical sense why you would even want to involve yourself in any of that. Now, in the clip, you see the girls in there and she look it just so we can go through it one more time. You can see a girl's hands with nails. Look at y'all. Y'all see those nails, right? That's a girl's hand. Now listen very closely. It's sped up, obviously, for copyright reasons. But just look it out and check it out. Baby. GDK. Come on. Thank you, baby. GDK. Like, I don't... That's... Nah, bro. She can't take no bullet for you. She can't eat no bullet for you. Bro, that's Christian Combs, bro. Ain't nobody about to shoot him. Uh... Bro, you think gang members care about who you are and what you do and who your father is? How many stories do y'all hear about innocent people getting caught in the crossfire? But you, uh, come on now, bro. So, I mean, to make it a learning lesson, if you're blessed enough to have parents that are successful, utilize that in all the right ways, right? Because you are one in a million. Especially, like, coming from urban communities, coming from, like, if you, like, just being black, bro. Like, just, we don't, niggas ain't rich. Niggas don't come from wealth and all that, bro. But you just happen to, not only wealth, but, like, top of the line. Like, Diddy's a billionaire. Like, one of the few, like, you can count how many black billionaires there are. And your pops is one of them. And you coming back down the hills to scream GDK? Oh my god, I feel King Yellow like now these guys are getting older as King Yellow was mentioning. Uh check out my interview with Billionaire Black, a Chicago drill music pioneer. But as these guys are getting old, they're realizing, damn, this ain't what we thought it was, or this ain't right. This ain't mm, I don't want to do this anymore. But they're older now. They've sworn in it, they've taken oaths, they can't look back now. So just imagine how frustrated it is to look at someone going down a path that you regret and being so proud about it. And one, not even like coming from that, but actually placing themselves there in order to feel that, that, oh my God, that's crazy to me, bro. But he did come back. I got to say he did come back and clear the air. He did say how uh, he posted something saying he wasn't gang affiliated. And he has no gang connection at all. So let me just read that part off to y'all before I ain't affiliated with no gang. That's what he said, y'all. But what do y'all think, man? Am I right or right? What, or or, or am, I, am I not getting it all? Is it something I'm missing? But what do y'all think about Christian Combs, son of a billionaire, screaming GD blank? Right? 